Debbie Giordano, your host for today. Uh, watch us on Channel 26 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9, nope, 6.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. We are at the Humane Society here in Milpitas and uh, Adoption Center, and oh my gosh, should I introduce the doggies or the sure. people first? Uh, <laughs> this is... This is Pepper. Pepper. She is 10 month old and she is available for adoption. Uh, nice. And this is... This is Royce. He is five years old, a Yorkshire Terrier, and he's available for adoption. All right, well now let's do the people. This is uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and you are a volunteer here. Been a volunteer the, for ten and a half years. Nice. Yeah. And Denny, you are. Uh, I am a staff a adoption counselor here, uh -huh. <laughs> and I just started, but I was also a, a volunteer before as well. Terrific. Well, um, thank you for having us and, and showing our show and letting folks know where they can come down. It's 901 Ames Avenue in Milpitas. In Milpitas. Yep. Beautiful facility. What? How old is the facility here? We moved in here four years ago. Nice. We also have two neighborhood adoption centers in Petco's, the one in Saratoga and the one in Sunnyvale. Wow, yep. that's terrific. Yep. Well, let's start. Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about your background and what you do here and what brought you to the, the volunteer job that you're doing. Well, I've been a volunteer for 10 and a half years, um, and as long, along with my husband. We are both tax accountants. We work full time, but uh, we just love being here, and um, I basically volunteer for the canine foster program. My husband and I and our pets have fostered 11 dogs for the Humane Society of Silicon Valley in the past couple of years. Oh wow, well, we're blessed to have you. Denny, you. And you, what's your background and how, how'd you end up here? I was also actually an accountant before, but that's a little while back. And I just enjoy animals, you know, and I started volunteering. and. I'm just blessed to be among animals, and here I am working with the animals now. Great. Well, uh, you told me when we were before the show, yes. you do counseling, is it counseling for the adoption process. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about that and how that works. Okay, so basically what we want to do is make sure that um, we have the dogs that people are looking for that fits their lifestyle, and we'll just sit them down and um, introduce them to the dogs or the cats or any other animals that we have that that are available for adoption. Okay, yeah. and, uh, now on the adoption process, I understand you have a video on your website and folks can look at that ahead of time before they come down. Exactly. How, how does that work? So we have um, Elizabeth here. She's one of our uh, videographer <laughs> and she films the animals with their uh, socializers and they're available <laughs> for people to see when they're at home. Great. So if they go to our webpage at hssv.org and they look at an animal that has a video, it'll be right there. Terrific. Yeah. We'll put that uh, website up on this. He's, Ellen's shaking his head. Uh, Elizabeth, <laughs> there's a, um, a, a major event coming in uh, to, to yeah. your Homeland so Society. Tell us about that and when that is. So uh, Saturday, Sunday, June 1 and June 2, we're going to be having a blowout event here, an adoption event. We hope to clear our shelter. The animals, uh, cats, dogs, kittens, and puppies are free to the public. We go through the normal adoption interview process, but the fee is waived. Okay, okay. Uh, question. I don't know much about, uh, I, I've never been involved, let's put it this way, at the level you are. What kind of challenges do you have in your job that, in the adoption process and working here? What kind of things have come up? Challenges. You know, I tell you, Debbie, every time I come here, um, I have a fabulous day. And what I like to make sure is that our visitors also have a fabulous visit. One of the other things that I volunteer here doing is meeting with the corporate groups who come and spend their half day volunteer day here at the shelter helping the animals. And I get to escort them and introduce them to the dogs that are here. Um, and oftentimes those people turn into volunteers, donors, and adopters. Well, do you ever have to turn away any ad families that want to adopt? As a volunteer, that's um, not the role that I have personally. Um, what I get to do is really connect the people and the animals. Um, we think that when we make that connection that it enhances both lives. Great. Denny, how about you? Uh, what, what do you like about your job? No, I think it's really just to um, build that bridge to connect the people and the animals because um, people need love <laughs> and animal needs home. You know, and they just have this unconditional love that is that you can't find anywhere else. You know, so that's what we're here about. We're here to connect that relationship between the two, between human and their four-legged 
uh, families. How does your facility operate? Do you get some kind of funding or is it just through the, is there a fee that somebody pays for the adoption? How does that work? So we're not affiliated with the Humane Society of the United States. We're independent, okay. we're 501c3, okay. and we're funded by uh, donations by the community that we live in um, and adopt our animals to. And then of course we generally have adoption fees. We also have a training center here, medical center, Saw grooming. That. Um, and so we're very, uh, our revenue is based on the fees, uh, adoption fees, and um, a lot of donations from our community. Terrific. And um, there, there were kittens. We were going to have a kitten here, yes. but we couldn't bring it outside. Yes. Um, do I see rabbits? We do have bunnies here as well. And we also have kittens, cats, bunnies, and pocket pets at our neighborhood community centers at the Petco Saratoga and uh, Petco Sunnyvale. Okay, terrific. She's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to go Thank play Thank you, Jenny, out for here. taking the puppy. No so what is this park that's out here uh, that's behind us? This is uh, for the public. Um, it's a uh, fee driven. It is a hundred dollar annual fee um, for every day to bring your pet, your own pet, to play in the park with other well behaved uh, humans and well behaved dogs. <laughs> we have a small dog and a big dog park. Okay, so you said grooming, so you yeah. kind of make an appointment and bring your animal yes. here and get and groomed. Rachel is fabulous. I have a big fluffy German Shepherd mix and I bring her here. How Rachel is fabulous and she's very reasonably priced. Okay. Terrific. Um, so any future plans? I know this is a pretty large facility, but do you know what the future looks like for the Humane Society? Any, any uh, plans? Specifically, I, I don't. Uh, maybe an additional neighborhood community center at another Petco Absolutely. perhaps. We just started adding dogs for available for adoption at our neighborhood Petco centers as well. Okay. So possibly expanding more dog adoptions at Petco's. How about shots? Can they bring the animals here for we shots? We have a complete or? medical center here on site. Site, yep. okay, Vaccinations terrific. Vaccinations and it's open to the public. We have low cost spay neuter surgery here open to the public in addition of course to all of our pets are, um, when they're adopted, they're spay neutered, microchipped, current on their vaccination. And again, the June 1 and June 2 event is such a bargain because the adoption fee is waived, but you still get a cat, dog, puppy, or kitten that's been spay neutered, microchipped, and current on its vaccinations. Nice. Well, um, anything else you want to say to the folks out there in Milpitas? Uh that's watching the show. To Come down on <laughs> June 1 and June 2 and help us empty our shelter. Yes. Terrific. Um, phone number here. 408-262-2133 and the extension for adoptions is 150. Great. Well, Denny, thank you very, very thank much. Very and thank much you for, for sharing us your puppy and Elizabeth. <laughs> thank you very much for, uh, I've got a t-shirt for each of you. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you for so being a guest wow. on our show. Thank it's a you. Valley Homes on, t on TV t-shirt. Fabulous. So thank you, Debbie. We'll give that one thank you so you. much. And we'll give that one to you. Thank you so That's much. That's awesome. Thank Your you. The puppy can yeah. sleep in yes. it. <laughs> All right. Thank you well, for thank watching you. Valley Homes on TV. years, trends and styles may come and go, but the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the National Parks have always been there for you, and now you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places. We all share a common journey. We wanted to serve our country and protect the things we love. We were ready to face any mission and help those in need. But for some of us, coming home was more of a challenge than we expected. In the service, we had each other's backs. But as veterans, it can sometimes feel like we're all alone. At the Veterans Crisis Line, we understand what you're going through. And we can help. It's your call. Welcome back, everyone, to Valley Home on TV. We've got Todd Pleasant along with Debbie Giordano. Howdy. And we're here to do a, a little wrap-up for you, give you some information about what's happening in Milpitas Real Estate. Some, in the month of May. In the month of May in 2013. Yes. So um, it's been an interesting market, hasn't it? It has been a ride this year. Yes, it I has. I have to say, uh, everything you read in the paper is true. I just brought just a couple. Here, here's this article in the Mercury. 
home prices hit a milestone. Mm -hmm. So we are actually right now um, at pre-depression prices. So we're, right. we're, we're, we're back up to where we were. I mean, no, uh, homes that were underwater, meaning mm -hmm. that they owe more mm -hmm. than what the value is, has adjusted and now we're seeing equity in homes. So there's been a turning in the market. It's been really exciting. Um, I've been doing open houses where 60, 80 families come through, and that, that's just unbelievable. Well, I know you've even told me some weekends more than 100 groups of folks coming through uh, individual open houses. Yeah, yeah. And I know as I work with folks who are pre-qualified and pre-approved for, for purchasing homes and, and getting an opportunity to speak with them about their home search process. They're you know, frustrated. Well, or there's a challenge, yes, okay. absolutely. You know, multiple offers right. and you know what's the right offer price to put in and what's the right strategy for that in terms of being able to get your offer accepted right. um, and so you know this, it's been a fast moving market and we've seen I think some uh, some significant changes in, in a fairly short period of time it definitely so um, yeah let's take a some, look how about some home price yes. changes let's look at uh, April to April April 2012 to April 2013 uh, in 2012, there was 546,000 for an average price home that has jumped now to 686,000. Um, median price was 496,000, and that's now at 650. So nice, so, nice gain. Uh, April 2012 for a condo, we have an average price of 310,000, and you will not believe that's now up to 467,000. I, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the growth in the condo market. Uh, median price was three hundred and fifteen thousand. Now it's up to four forty. So, um, so yeah, nice, can put those nice rebound, up. like you said, back to kind of the the, the pre bubble, right? <laughs> you know, bursting. Um. Well, let me ask you. You uh, put out what I love it. There's a, a weekly update in terms of the economic indicators and how those point the direction to maybe. Um, interest rates or Correct. other factors. And, I, um, and I'm happy to provide that to, for any of our you know, viewers who want to keep abreast of what's happening on a you know, consistent basis with um, the economic factors influencing both real estate and mortgage interest rates. Great. Well, uh, let's remember when we close, let's put up both of our email addresses. But one last week, you talked about the unemployment rate. That's dropped considerably. It has. T talk to me about that. How does that factor into what we're doing economically here? Well, you know, a lot of home buying uh, has to do with confidence about the future. And the unemployment rate dropping begins to give folks confidence about their jobs and confidence about the future of their ability to be able to afford a home going forward. Um, now, there's some things, that, you know, in the background behind that unemployment number in terms of folks, in terms of partici participation level in the market, um, the employment market. So are folks dropping out? Or are we actually seeing more hiring going on? So okay. that's, that's, there's a little bit of that. But the raw numbers in terms of the data about unemployment rate is definitely improving, and that's give, giving confidence to the market. And it looks like from October 2009 it was 10% to mm -hmm. last month 7.5%. Correct. So it's definitely going in the right direction. It, it is going in the right direction. We're starting to see other economic signs that that are, are positive as well. If you look at you know the, the stock market, we're at all-time highs now in the stock market, and so those equity positions are, are much more healthy. But in the years past on the show, we talked about a higher a stock market going up mm -hmm. might mean interest rates may follow. So that, what, that's correct. What do you see coming on? Uh, well, one of the things that's been keeping interest rates low has been the Federal Reserve policy um, to, regarding, you know, low rates, and there's starting to be some chatter now. In fact, uh, today, as, as we're taping this, the Fed had some comments about them, uh, Chairman Bernanke in particular, about beginning to unwind their MBS purchase program, their mortgage-backed securities purchase. So, mm. you know, the federal government has been a purchaser of mm. mortgage-backed securities, mm. and that's increased demand for for those mortgages in the market. So they're looking to begin to unwind that program this summer. Did they start that program when the housing market took they, its crash? They or? did. They did. And so it's been through a couple different iterations, iterations over the, the last couple of years. It had a different, couple of different names, you know, Operation Twist. Um, you know, if, if there are a couple of others that they've, you know, had that they've called us. But in, in essence, it's been the same thing. It's been the federal government buying mortgage-backed securities to help keep 
interest rates low, and to help the supply of mortgage money in the market. So they're beginning to talk about unwinding that program this summer, and we're going to probably start to see interest rates begin to, to, to nudge up a little bit. Okay. Uh, another interesting factor I think that's coming into play, particularly in our housing market, when we talk about the supply and demand mm -hmm. cycle of it, there's an, uh, also a article, Silicon Valley feels Bay Area people boom. So we're mm -hmm. seeing a population increase, mm -hmm. which maybe that's the lower... Uh, the unemployment That's where correct. the, the mm -hmm. employees are hiring, people are coming here. So that definitely is going to fuel the market, and uh, that's another reason why we're seeing the increase. Right. Well, you know, and as folks know, California and Silicon Valley in particular, we, we tend to be on the leading edge both, you know, at, with recovery, but also, you know, on the downside as well. And so, we, you know, the, we're seeing a quick, quicker recovery here than they are perhaps in other parts of the country. You know, in the California Association of Realtors magazine, I cut out an article that says hot, warm, or getting warmer. And they label the, the top six counties in the state. And, say, and Santa Clara County is, they just called it red hot mm -hmm. right now. So that's Absolutely. pretty exciting. Absolutely. I think that's exciting. So, you know, so we, we have a, a healthy market here, more, de, you know, demand for homes than there is supply. Right. And that's part of what's pushing those prices but it, up. But again, as, as homeowners have equity, mm -hmm. I think the supply for homes for sale will come up. And I, th I think yeah, we'll be coming into a more normal market here real soon. I think so. We're going to start to see some stabilization. You know, the other thing that I'm seeing is I, is I work with homeowners who are looking to, to refinance. For so many folks, when the values declined, it was right. difficult for them to right. be able to do that, um, particularly if they had a loan that wasn't a Fannie Freddie um, loan that was eligible for HARP. Well, now I'm starting to, to really work with those types of homeowners to be able to help them now lower their interest rates while we're still in the 3 and 4% range. And so I've um, had a number of calls just this week, folks you know, who've been stuck with loans in the sixes mm -hmm. who are going to now get you know, be able to nice. lower their interest rates nice. because they, they now have equity. It's great for their family. Yeah, so I that's good. I think we're ready to close. Go ahead and let's shoot your... Um, Get your email address up there for Terrific. Folks. It's T Flesner at GM West, like Great Mortgage West dot com. And actually if anybody wants these housing statistics or anything of information on the show, you can reach me at Giordano DJ at AOL dot com. Terrific. Well, it's good to see uh, recovery in the market. We're glad uh, the folks have joined us as well. And um, enjoy the summer coming up. Kids are gonna be out of school and um, everybody have nice, safe vacations and We've got a few more shows coming up before the July break. And Absolutely, and we always appreciate uh, any of our viewers who have recommendations for us, too. If anybody you know, you'd like to see us have on the show or um, an area of town you'd like to see us highlight, we'd, we'd be delighted to hear about that. Yeah, great. Thanks for watching Valley Homes on TV.